Welcome to another episode of Daily Ichim. Last week I talked about the first half of a book called The Richest Man in Babylon and the financial principles about managing and growing your wealth. In today's video I want to talk about the second half of the book or which talks about the mindset and mentality you should have to accomplish this. The book discusses a four-step process, the first being desire, second goal or task, the third one being action and effort, and finally opportunities. To go back to the first one, desire, the book says that accomplishment is preceded by desire and that desire should be finite and simple. This doesn't mean simple in scope. The scope can be as grand and big as you want it to be, but it should be simple to understand because the desire is ultimately what fuels and energizes you to go through this process time and time again to improve your skill and open up more opportunities for yourself. Which then brings me to the second point, the goal or the task. This should be something that you are able to do every single day. And then whenever you set it for yourself, you should be able to complete it. So imagine the desire being the mountain that you're trying to tackle and the goal or the task being the trail that you're walking on. The reason I make this an analogy is that if you're looking at a mountain simply from afar, it seems very big and daunting. And you either are immobilized because you don't have the confidence of climbing that mountain or you simply don't even know where to start. And that's where the goal or the task comes in place. Because if you have a trail in front of you, you know that you simply have to follow the trail in order to get to the top. This then allows you to take a simple step every single day in order to get better at your craft. And all of a sudden you're able to, at the, you're, you reach the top of the mountain and you have skilled the mountain that you didn't imagine possible from the start. This brings me to the third point, which is the effort or the action itself. By doing the action repeatedly over time, you're starting to improve. But it becomes very easy to get complacent at some point and do everything almost automatically or without thinking about it. What this triggers is that you're getting stuck at a certain skill level. And at some point you won't be able to move any further because your skill doesn't develop. So in order to make sure that you can reach that top of the mountain or that you can really fulfill your desire, you should take care of doing the action in a conscious manner so that every day, you're, every time you do it, you're starting to think, how can I improve by 1%? Even just 1% is more than enough. And if you do that over time, you're starting to improve. But that alone, sometimes you can still get stuck. So the best thing to do is not only to focus on your action and how, how you can improve yourself, but also to get wisdom from people that have walked the path before you or people that you can trust in this particular field to give you some kind of guidance or to consume some kind of media so that you can get knowledge from others, again, that have done it before you or that have a certain wisdom that you simply couldn't figure out by yourself. And from all these different directions, you're able to improve yourself over time, which then finally leads you to the opportunities. For many people, they don't realize that every single day, many opportunities come by. But because we're not open to it, because we're not attuned to it, they simply go by without us realizing it. And sure enough, there are people who realize there are opportunities, but because of a lack of skill or a lack of confidence, they don't take the action or the time to actually grasp those opportunities. But by improving your skill over time and gaining more and more confidence, you're able to actually go and grasp those opportunities, which then, of course, down the road lead to more and more opportunities over time. The book summarizes this in a very simple statement that wealth grows wherever men exerts their energy. So out of everything in this video, I hope at least that you remember that, that the energy you put into something is ultimately where life will lead you down to. To make it a bit funny or simple to understand, imagine that you're watching Netflix episodes. If you simply do it passively and absorbing all, consuming it as if you're, as if you're simply looking for entertainment, sure enough, you're able to um, start to understand what kind of series are good. And you're also getting a feel for pop culture, which allows you then to talk with different people about pop culture. So your social skills are able to be improved if you use them wisely. On the other hand, if you're looking at it more from what shot are people using, in which way is the script written, you're looking at it from a completely different angle, even though you're consuming the same kind of content, which means that other kinds of opportunities and wisdom come to you so that your life goes in a different direction from the first example I mentioned. That's all I have to say for today. And this is the last episode of this week. I will be back with another episode on Monday. So have a nice day and have a nice weekend, everyone.